What's going on guys? Today I'm going to make a chicken teriyaki um, chicken teriyaki in the crock pot. Really, it's a very simple recipe. There's three ingredients. Chicken, teriyaki sauce, and chicken broth. Let's go to the store. All right, welcome to the commentary of the video. Uh, we are gonna be getting some chicken broth. There's two different kinds I was looking at. I'm gonna pick this one over that first one. It's cheaper and the macros are better on it. Uh, the next up is the minute rice. And this minute rice is way better than that white rice for the macros. And of course, the less sodium teriyaki sauce for the recipe. Going in the basket and walking out to the car. Directions in the car. On commentary. Anyhow, let's see you in the next clip. Alright, guys, so the recipe calls for two pounds of chicken uh, and half a cup of teriyaki sauce and half a cup of chicken. Broth. I've got low sodium on both of those to help sodium level. There's a lot of sodium teriyaki sauce and then also in chicken broth. So you want to go low sodium on this so it helps with your salt intake. Two pounds, I already weighed it out. It's just a little over two pounds which is fine. I'm cooking for me, my kids, and my fiance. And I want to have leftovers uh, for the week too. So that's going to be fine. A little over two pounds. So all you have to do is put it in the crock pot. Also, I went ahead and trimmed off the excess fat on the chicken. I don't want any excess fat on that. So, So a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. I got plenty of time. I'm gonna do it for eight hours. Plus, these are kind of about halfway frozen still. So eight hours when you finally meet. And that's it. That's it for it. I mean, it's very simple. I had a friend make it at work. He told me that it worked. It works fine. It tastes great. It tastes like chicken teriyaki, but it's a healthy version. So, if you like Chinese food like I do, give this a try. And when it's done, We'll try it. So, see you on the next clip. Also, one thing I wanted to add to the recipe, which I'm not adding to it, you can add eggs to it. You can add uh, onion if you like it, some celery. Uh, broccoli is probably a good one because it's Chinese food. Uh, I, I don't know like that. I wish I did because uh, it's very good for you. I think I like it for you. But I'm not going to that. But, I'll probably make some veggies for uh, the kids. Alright, hey guys, so the teriyaki chicken is done. It took about seven hours. Uh, I was watching TV and it's. Turn that off. I was watching TV and um, I kind of tell that it was done. Like it would almost get in that burnt smell. So it didn't quite take eight hours. 
Uh, but anyway, let me show you what it looks like. So now all you have to do is take two forks and just pull it apart. I would pull it a little bit apart just to kind of see. But it's not easy to pull it apart. It's tender. So what you're doing is just shred this all up. I'm like, this is like a hot knife on the butter. This is like nothing to shred this. So you shred up all the chicken, mix it with the, all the juices. And like uh, put over life and video, whatever you want to do. So, anyway, um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. So, you know, I gotta do a taste test. Can't let that go. That is definitely really, really good. First time trying that. I was really uh, thinking that it was gonna taste that good being a half a cup of that of a teriyaki sauce. <laughs> Give it a try, it's really good guys. See y'all. Alright guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a teriyaki chicken. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know you guys. Let me know if you guys tried this and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video.